Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and today we're going to do another PHEV video. This is the 15th in the series since I got the car. So I just wanted to thank everybody for all the views and sharing, watching, and any questions that I've had have been answered. Uh, the beeping that was happening in the car apparently is that the car is charging the starter battery, and it does this at 2 o'clock every day. So it would make kind of sense that uh, I heard the clicking of the car to access... Uh, the lithium batteries just like when you charge it it does that click 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 I heard that and then the car was beeping inside very steadily uh, and very calmly and uh, there were no lights on the dash or anything and people are telling me that that is the system charging the starter battery so I can believe that that makes sense today what we're gonna address is I had another user post that he noticed that whatever app he was using for a GPS system in the car was telling him that his car was moving much slower than what the speedometer was saying. And I said, hey, I've mentioned that in one of my videos, that when I'm using the Watchdog app, my car says if I'm doing 100 on the speedometer, the Watchdog says I'm doing about 94. There's about a 6 kilometer difference. And now for somebody else to say that their car is the same, I'm going to do some testing today. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to use the PHEV uh, Watchdog app and uh, we're going to plug that into the car. We're going to go for a drive. We're going to drive about 50 kilometers and we are going to measure our speed and distance using this app. We are also going to use my handheld GPS, uh, which is an, a Garmin eTrex. Uh, I use it for hunting, but it will show us our speed and it will show us our distance. And thirdly, because everyone knows to be scientific, we need three devices. We're going to use this old plug-in Garmin. And out of the three systems, I know for a fact that this one is bang on. If it says we're doing 100, we're doing 100. And the reason I know that is I got a ticket for speeding, and the quoted number on the ticket was exactly what was registered on here. 114 and an 80, which may have been a construction zone. I don't want to talk about it. What we need to find out is, is the speedometer the only thing that is incorrect in this car? Or is the odometer also faulty? Is it giving us a bonus reading? Mitsubishi, I hope you wouldn't do that just to bolster electric uh, distance numbers. And I don't think that's the case. I'm hoping here that we just prove that it's the speedometer only. And I don't know why they would have the speedometer set lower. So let's go for a drive and see what happens. I've reset the tripometer to zero. We have 6,815 kilometers. Okay, so I'm just going to pick something that we can go there and back on electric, and it's going to be the quick way. Whoops. It's going to be the quick way in Powassan. Okay, and we've started the watchdog on Bluetooth. So we've already had uh, one momentary stoppage of the PHEV watchdog app the first stoplight that i pulled up to i just happened to look down and it turned itself off at that exact moment so i turned it back on before we started moving again so i'll have to take that into consideration hopefully it stays connected the rest of the way here i'm going to set the cruise control at 100 kilometers then we're going to check uh, our devices and see what they're reading for speed okay so there we are set to 100 kilometers an hour with the cruise control on 94 kilometers so exactly as I said before we're six kilometers under what the car uh, speedometer is showing now if we check my Garmin GPS it is clearly showing 94 kilometers an hour as well So that's pretty much what I figured that the Watchdog app is using the GPS in the phone, so I figured it would be accurate. And the Garmin GPS is showing the same thing. And just to be sure, we'll check my handheld Garmin GPS. There is the Garmin handheld GPS. 94.5. So there we are, guys. We are in Powassan at the quick way. And just to prove that, we're going to make sure we lock the doors. We're in Powassan, and this town used to be, their slogan was, the friendly town. And uh, I'm just keeping an eye on my hubcaps right now, so they've actually changed the sign. The municipality of Powassan, the heart of good living. 
It is no longer the friendly town. Okay, there's the odometer on the car, guys. It's saying 26.3 kilometers. Okay, the watchdog app is saying 24.1 kilometers. So the watchdog, uh, we've got to look at two trips because it stopped there at the beginning. The first trip we went 2.2 kilometers. The second time it started recording, 24.1, which gives us a total of 26.3. So it's reading the same as the car, but is that because we're getting information from the car? Let's check our independent GPSs. Okay, so there is the Legend uh, handheld GPS, and it is saying we went 26.4 kilometers. Like uh, any good experiment, we did forget, I forgot, to reset the tripometer on the um, this Garmin, the plug-in one. I'm going to go ahead and reset all the tripometers, the one on the dash, uh, the one on each GPS, and we'll do this again. And we should be at the halfway point, so 26.3 is the number we're looking at. Okay, so both of those are reset to zero. Tripodometer zero. Tripodometer here is zero. And right now we will do the dash. Zero. So if you guys are like me, I adjusted my driving speed when I got this car to drive like Miss Daisy thinking, I want to do the right thing and go as far as I can on electric. Then to find out, I now know the reason why everybody keeps crawling right up on my rear end and uh, giving me dirty looks. And so I guess this is the time where I have to apologize to that little old lady who crawled up my ass yesterday and flipped me the bird when she went by scowling. She couldn't even see over the dash of her car and I wondered what she was all upset about. I guess I really wasn't doing 80 in the 80. So thank you Mitsubishi for that. Grandma, we'll work it out. I'll call you later. So this shot here is just for Marty is nuts about digging. Marty, look at all the technology I'm relying on. Good stuff. I'm trying to figure out how to connect my heartbeat sensor to the car so that you guys know how much fun I'm having. And just to show you guys the trip home, there is the uh, speedometer. I'm showing, you know, 101. I've got the uh, cruise control set on. And uh, there's all three of my devices recording 96.1, uh, 96, and 94 kilometers. Why, Mitsubishi? Why? I feel like Andy on EV Unplugged. I'm angry. Here I am wasting my gas and time testing this car. Because it's not right. Okay, here we are. Back at home base, Reed Manor. I live in a trailer out back. Okay, parked back in the garage, and we've got a reading of 26.2 on the dash. Okay, on our uh, three GPSs, we have a reading of 26.4 kilometers on the handheld, 26.3 uh, on the plug-in, and 26.3 on the watchdog app. Okay guys, so I'm fairly confident that the uh, odometer is working properly in the car, which is a good thing, but the speedometer is not. So let me know what you guys think about that, and I'm really thinking about calling Mitsubishi and seeing what they say. Um, so stay tuned. Um, there is no law that says you need to have a speedometer showing the exact number. And I'll just read a little blurb that I found online to you guys, um, which may um, explain some of what's going on. For ordinary passenger vehicles, there is no law in the, U in the U.S. that regulates a speedometer, but U.S. manufacturers, and most Japanese as well, that's us, will, uh, subscribe to a standard called SAE J1226. Your speedometer reading must be within a range of plus or minus 4%. But that 4% goes over the entire range of the speedometer. So not just to 100, but to 220 or whatever it's showing. So 4%. So at 6 kilometers off at 100, we are still within that 4%. We have a section on European vehicles here as well. European Union requires adherence to UNECE Regulation 39. It's a lot of math, but the simple version is that no speedometer can read slower than the actual speed. On the high side, it is allowed to read up to 10% above the actual speed, plus 4 or 6 kilometers per hour, depending on the type of vehicle. 
So um, that pretty much gives us our answer as to what we're going to hear back from Kyle at uh, Mitsubishi. But uh, as soon as I get a response from them, written or verbal, I'll let you guys know in the next video. Thanks for watching.